Demi's not still mad at me, right? She can't be. Nobody's gotta know. Hi, and welcome to my channel. I'm Allie Fitz, and I'm back with another video. And if you're new here, hello, I love you already. Make sure you slap that subscribe button to become part of the Fitz fam today. We pretty lit, it's true. And once you've done that, make sure to follow my social medias over here to stay connected with your girl. And turn on those post notifications so you know all the tea first. Speaking of tea, my song Secret is now available on Apple Music, iTunes, Spotify, and everything else. So make sure you buy, stream, and download today. And if you tag me in a post of you streaming on Instagram, I will like 99.9999999% definitely like it. I will. Promise. By the way, if I were to drop something in October, y'all would buy or stream that too, right? If you commented yes, then, then I, okay, I'm taking notes, okay. But anyways, now that that self promo is out of the way, let's just jump back into episode because like, I need to find out how to get back on the tour bus because they left me. Yeah, tour day five, made of glass, but I'm not even on the tour no more, I'm, they left me. This is a nightmare, that's all it is. If I close my eyes, Nope, honey, this is real. <laughs> I'll see that I'm having a nightmare. And when I wake up, the bus will be back and everyone will be here. In three, two, okay, real. Real, but still a nightmare. Come on, think, think. If I can get a ride, I'll make it for the concert, but I'll miss rehearsal and Holly will kill me. Or I can pay for a flight and I'll get there ahead of the tour. So I can either call Rody Danny or buy a flight and get there before tour. I, I'm buying a flight, forget that. I got the bag, I'm buying a flight. Man, here goes all my savings. <laughs> I just better get that Glam Lips cash. I don't know if I am. Perfect, I've got the next flight out of here. Taxi, the T, I really did take the flight. Yes, we are not in first class, but that's okay. Hey Allie. Managed to sleep on the bus this time? Oh, T. Like a log. Fantastic. She mad. She did this on purpose. <laughs> but I made it. <laughs> Nobody on your bus saw you. I was worried you'd been oil spotted. Nah, I just stayed in the bunk with the curtains closed. Performing really took it out of me. As long as you're here, there's some news I want you to hear from me first. Uh oh. That sounds ominous. I wanted to let you know we're going to hold auditions for an official backup. Well, what? But I thought, Allie, you're great. Nobody's saying you're not. You rocked it at your first performance. You've always been on time. We just wanna try out some professional replacements for Sarah. Wow. So, does this mean I'm done? No, not yet. You've been great. You've gotten to all the rehearsals on time. You've connected with fans and the crew loves you. But we need to be official about this. Tonight will be your formal audition. Oh, snap. Are you ready for that? I'll do it for the fans, or I'll do it for you guys, or I'll do it for my crush. I'll do it for the fans! Then I guess I better get to practicing. I can't let the fans down. I like the attitude. It's a good thing you're here so early, too. It'll give you time to practice. During rehearsals, Demi and I will be auditioning some replacements. Prove you're better than them at the show tonight, and you're in. Ooh. Well, with that in mind, I think I'd better rehearse. As you might know, I already slap as a singer. <laughs> the humbleness, where did it go? So I'm gonna practice on my dancing because I'm not, I'm not too good at dancing, so yeah. I wanna make sure I've got the moves down. Can you point me towards the dance rehearsal? Sure thing, but who would you like to be rehearsing with? Taylor or Alex? Okay, so I went on a date with Taylor the other day. So this time I'm gonna rehearse with Alex because he be on stage all the time, so Alex. Maybe Alex? I wanted us to get closer. Makes sense, he should be down the hall to the left. Oh, but you aren't actually wearing that to rehearsal, are you? It looks a little road worn. Wow, wow, the disrespect. It jumped out. I need to make sure I show that I wanna be here. I know Holly loves Demi's style. She's always talking about her exclusive outfits. Hmm, only one way to find out. Only one way to find out, to the shops. Let's go. What would you like to explore? The Demi exclusives. Okay, how about the Levotic Love? Cause like, I'm rehearsing. I don't wanna be too, you know, fabulous on them. So, I'm gonna get this. Yeah, that's cute, that's cute. Well, better get to rehearsal. Let's go. Allie? What, Maria? You made it. No thanks to you, or did you expect me not to? Or yes, like a professional. Did you expect me not to? Oh, <laughs> did you expect me not to? What? No, I just, what? Sarah's my best friend in the entire world, okay? I just wanted to make sure she'd still have her spot when she got back. Well, she won't. Oh, 
or we'll see, or not if I can help it. We'll see. I guess we'll see. They're holding auditions for a replacement. What? You got a bad habit of not thinking things through. Oh, T. What am I gonna do? Nothing. I, on the other hand, am gonna earn a spot on this tour. Go, Allie, I like that confidence, girl. Oh, shoot, I forgot to change my lipstick. Demi's gonna hate me again. Rough day, Songbird? You have no idea. You want my advice? Just relax, I didn't ask. Easy as that, huh? Works for me. All that anxiety and frustration, put it to the dancing. I know you love singing, but this is part of it too. You gotta dance like you love it. That's always been a little harder for me than the singing. All right, everybody. Let's do routine number seven with the drop top booty shaker. You got it, Allie. Shake that booty like it ain't no thing. Did he really just say that? Go, Demi, queen. She's killing it. And I'm in the background like, yes. Let me turn on the sound. It's just, it's just the crowd clapping. Okay, T, I thought she was gonna sing, but she killing it though. Go girl. The crowd loves it. I'm turning off the crowd. The crowd loves it, but I'm turning them off. Go Demi, queen. Go girl, look at that face. She's killing it. Yes. Thank you, DC. Go ahead, girl. Bye y'all. Maria, you crushed it. Obviously. Ellie, can I see you for a sec? Uh-oh, that doesn't sound too good. Me? Actually, Holly, I wanna be here for this too. <gasps> okay. I'm scared. So, we've got some news. Look, I really just wanna thank you so much for the opportunity. Hold up, hold up. After going through auditions, we did find someone we wanna keep on the tour. And it's you. <gasps> what? Holly, I wanted to tell her. <gasps> Sorry, I just couldn't keep it in. Allie, you killed it out there tonight. <gasps> I'm shook. You really stepped up your game. And the chemistry between you, Demi, and Maria is working. Really? You mean it? Dead serious. So, you willing to share your time between us and Glam Lips? Absolutely. You held your place on tour. You were two gems, not one, y'all. Well, come on. New cities with thousands of new fans are waiting. <gasps> wow. I made it on the tour, y'all. Wow. I'm a permanent spot on the tour. That's gonna be me in a couple years. Just wait. Only I'm gonna have my own tour. Like, I'm not gonna be back up singing for Demi. I love her, but like, I'm gonna have my own tour. <gasps> Callie's calling. Answer her. Oh no. I know Callie finna be mad at me. But we having a good time though. Dang, Callie's still calling. Did something happen? Callie gonna kill me. She gonna kill me. Selfies with new fans. We lit. Callie mad, mad. Dang! Is that us? Oh, we're blowing up. I can talk on the phone with Anaya, but not to my sister. What? Three missed calls. I could answer the phone for Anaya, but not for Callie. That don't make no sense. After more than a week on tour, it looks like you're fitting in well. But it can be tough to balance the demands of everyone close to you. You've really hit it off with the crew this trip. Next up, your relationships are put to the test on a tough TV interview. Oh, snap. Have you made the best choices to keep people close? I don't know. But because that episode was short, we gonna jump into another one. Ready? Tour day 11. Left a life behind. Ooh. Who, wait, left a life behind? That don't sound good. There you are, Holly's asking for you. She said she needs to talk to you in the lobby immediately. Why does she wanna talk to me? Did I do something wrong? I certainly hope so. Rude. Whatever, Maria. Man, I really need to call Callie. It's been a week. Call Callie now or go straight to the lobby. Oh man. I might get in trouble for this, but I'm calling Callie for a second. This must be important. Holly will understand, I hope. Come on, Callie, pick up. Forgot the equipment. Are you seriously making a phone call? Oh my God. Holly said now, leave me alone. Oh no. And don't you tell Holly about the phone call. Allie, what took you so long? Allie seemed to think that her phone was more important than you. Oh, I 
hate her. Really, Allie? You're lucky I'm in a good mood. Allie, I have some exciting news for you. You do? You do? You and Demi are going on Good Morning Miami. Oh, wow. Good Morning Miami? Me? Are you serious? Me? On TV? That's so exciting. Holly, you're joking, right? You want the newbie? Don't start, Maria, okay? Oh. Everyone thinks she's got a killer story. They asked for Allie specifically. <gasps> Yay. Okay, you've got enough hairspray in to survive a hurricane. Now you need to find a look that says, ready for my close-up. You're right. You're going on a Miami talk show, so make sure you're wearing a Miami design, or they will call you out. Hit the shops or just wear this. Well, that means I'm hitting the shops. I need something Miami, but first, let me change my makeup right quick. Oops, I accidentally did not pick an outfit. I guess I'm going on stage like this. They gonna call me out, but at least my lips look nice. Good choice. Come on, you don't wanna be late. Oh, let me touch up your eyelashes real quick before your big debut. Thank you, girl. Thank you. All right, you ready to go? Nervous? No way, I'm so ready for this, or I'm shaking so much they might not let me on stage, or should I be? I'm low-key ready. No way. I've been waiting my whole life for something like this. You'll be great. Thanks, girl. Everything okay? You just lunged for your phone. I was hoping it was my sister. It's a long story. Gotcha. Well, I'll let you take your call. Thanks, girl. I like her. Sonia? We heard you're gonna be on one of the hottest morning shows in the country. How do you guys do that? Do what? Find things out so fast. I only learned 10 minutes ago. That's why I'm paid big bucks, cutie. I'm calling to remind you how important it is to promote your sponsor on the show. Of course, you guys got me here, or not everything is about you, or just what do you want me to say? We'll see, Sonya. Just what is it you want me to say? Whatever comes natural to you, of course. With oh natural eyes, you'll always feel yourself. Are you feeding me lines? Would that offend you? Yes, let me be, or I'm not even sure what you mean, or no. Yes, let me be. Actually, yeah, it would. Just let me be. I knew you'd understand, hun. I have utmost faith in you, Allie. Toodles. I don't like her, but she did get me where I am today. But like, chill. Oh, Allie. What? You've never been on live TV before, right? Uh, you're not afraid you're gonna bomb it completely? If she don't stop trying to get in my mind, psychologically and stuff, make a giant moron out of yourself in front of millions of viewers, Nah, I'm gonna nail it. Or not as big a moron as you. Oh, or honestly, I'm terrified. I wanna call her a moron so bad. You know what? I am. With you around, it'll be hard to be the biggest moron. Oh, wanna put some money where your mouth is? It's nice to see that our newfound friendship has lasted. But I have about 87 cents in my purse right now. <laughs> if you really want a handful of spare change, it's all yours and forget the bet. Fine, how about something more interesting? What? How about that t-shirt Taylor won you in Chicago? Unless you won't bet because you're sure you're going to lose. Ew! You know what? I'll bet. I'm gonna rock this. You'll see. Yeah. Yeah, Maria. Cindy, did you know this show was made in the USA? I got that joke. I never had a doubt, Mark. I know. I'd have a heart attack if I found out otherwise. He's funny. Oh, Mark. I bet I have a hunch who our guest today is. And I bet you really do care. I'm excited to welcome to the stage the pop sensation, Demi Lovato. <gasps> we love her, and we love that look, queen. Yes. There's me backstage. Hey, my name is Greg. Hey. Greg, I'm glad you're here, or finally took you long enough, or, uh, hi. I'm glad you're here. My name's Allie. I'm super glad you're here. I'm pretty nervous. And when I get nervous, I get chatty. Is that okay? I've never done this before. That'll be beneficial, seeing as you're going on a talk show. Good point. <laughs> So, your segment is coming up. Here are the ground rules. No swearing, no removing of clothing, no obscene gestures, no eating, drinking. I have this sponsor, Glam Lips, who asked if I could promote on the air. Absolutely no plugs or promotions. And no sneezing. What? Did you say sneezing? The host has a phobia of sneezing. Sneezes aren't really the kind of thing you can control. On this show, they are. What? No sneezing. Welcome back. And welcome to those of you who are just joining us. We've been talking with Demi Lovato about the ups and downs of this year's tour. We're joined now by the rising star of the story, Allie Fitz. Oh my God. Oh my God. She's clapping for me. Hi y'all. Allie, this must be one wild ride for you. 
So walk us through this. Just how did you get where you are now? Well, Cindy, Glam Lips hosted a contest or with a lot of talent. I mean, if we're being honest, if I say Glam Lips, is that promoting them? I'm just gonna say Glam Lips hosted a contest at their concert back home. And one of Demi's backup singers had to leave the tour. They asked you, an otherwise unknown singer, to step in? Sarah had a family emergency and we needed someone to fill in immediately. I instantly thought of Allie. She has an incredible voice and we just have that kind of stage chemistry. That you can't fake, right? Aw, look at us. And you've gotten close enough to finish each other's... <clears throat> Cindy, a little help here? Sorry? Never mind. Yikes. I'm sure it can be a little overwhelming. Who do you go to for support? I tend to lean on my BFF or my sister or Glam Lips products, nah, or myself. I'm gonna say my sister just in case she's watching. My sister. My sister Callie, she's my number one fan. So the fans wanna know, any romance on the road? Oh, well, mention Alex, mention Taylor, I just broke up with someone or I'd rather not say. It's always good to like keep them guessing, so I'd rather not say. Judging by the color in your cheeks and the sparkle in your eyes. I'll take that as a definite maybe. T. Well, we have a little treat for you, Allie. A familiar voice from home. <gasps> Who? Caller, are you there? I'm here. Do you recognize that voice, Allie? It sounds like my sister. Callie, is that you? Welcome to Good Morning Miami, Callie. Callie called us the minute we said you'd be on. What a supportive fan. I gave her first video its very first like. That's so touching. So I'm a little hurt that she can't take time to support my interest. <gasps> Wait, is Callie really doing this on live TV right now? Her tour friends seem to be all that matter now. Is she serious? Callie, that's not true. I really tried to find you a Honey Bear's jersey when we were in Chicago. It's just that they, I didn't want to hear about it. You probably tried once. First of all, where's my mom? Cause my mom would never let this fly. She's really, really trying to make me look like a bad person in front of the whole entire world. I'm mad. <laughs> I guess we learned that tour life is harder than it seems. We're gonna take a short, now that you're all famous, it feels like you're just brushing me off. Is that how you treat your most loyal fans? Fame is harder than it looks or why can't you be happy for me or I deserve this? Bruh, why can't you be happy for me? Like, really? Why can't you be happy for me? I've worked my whole life for this. All you had to do was click like. Okay, maybe, maybe I shouldn't have said that. Callie, are you there? Oh, I just goofed. I'm not a good star. Well, uh, and now a word from our sponsors. Next up, Uggs or Uggs? Let's break it down. Demi's gonna be so mad. But my sister is acting a fool right now. Where is my mother? I should have said I deserve this, but I don't I don't feel like I do. Kelly's got to understand that I'm literally on tour with a whole famous person. Is everything okay, Ellie? What just happened out there? My sister just lashed out on me for no reason. And on national television. Are you sure she didn't have a reason? It seemed like she's been feeling abandoned by her big sister. Okay, first of all, it's because of Holly. So Holly will never let me have a chance to call her. I'm blaming everyone but myself, but I'm just, ugh. I guess, or you're probably right. Or, well, she responded badly. You're probably right, Demi. You're probably right. I was afraid this might happen with you being so new to tour life. I have to get to rehearsal, but just think about who's most important to you. The talk show went viral. <laughs> of course it went viral, because I just yelled at my sister on air. Oh my God, we have 14,000 new fans. Wow. Anaya, have you seen? Our channel numbers are through the roof. I thought it sucked, but this talk show drama got us 14,000 fans. What was that just now? What? On TV? That wasn't my best friend up there. Because my best friend wouldn't make those kind of comments. Bruh, it was me and my sister. It's not like I was saying it to some random fan, like, sisters fight. I know, I get it. But on the bright side, we're totally gonna win that $100,000. At what cost, Allie? Callie's hurt over this. Your parents are confused, I'm just, Disappointed. My parents should be mad at Callie. Sure, we want to build our following, but this wasn't the way to do it. Wait, Anaya. I gotta go. Are you kidding? Am I in the wrong? I might be, but I don't see that I'm that in the wrong. Anaya? I don't know, man. Callie should have yelled at me off air. Like, what? Oh, Alex. 
This is the worst day. I was just totally ruined on public television. Did you mean those things you said on that show? Huh? That wasn't cool, Allie. Oh my gosh. Your fans don't just click buttons. I didn't know she was gonna say that part. And you should never throw your family under the bus. She threw me under the bus. What you mean she called to national television and told them all that? Bruh, I wanna quit the game. But I, that was a massacre. I'm ordering a copy of the show and giving it away as gifts this Christmas. Did you just come here to gloat? And to collect my prize. Pay up, you totally tanked. Oh my gosh. Why do you want some stinky old shirt, Maria? It's the shirt Taylor won me at Navy Pier. I sort of just lost it in a bet. Interesting. I need some time to think after all this. What? I feel like I don't even know who you were out there today. Honestly, y'all are really blowing it out of proportion. Oh my gosh, it was my sister. And for the record, I didn't know she was gonna say that click like thing. I wouldn't have never said it, but yikes. This sucks. Well, that didn't quite go as planned. Being on tour is one of the toughest part of this work. It demands a lot of your time and not everyone will understand that. But stay strong and stay true to yourself. I'm sure next episode you can find a way through this. I hope. This was some bull. In conclusion, my mom should have told Kelly not to call into the show if she was gonna act like that. And in conclusion, I shouldn't have said what I said. We're both in the wrong, but I'm mad. And if you guys wanna see more of episode, make sure to click this like button and let people know about this episode T, cause it just got juicy. Everybody on tour hates me for the second time. First time is cause I wore the wrong lipstick. The second time is because I said something I should have said on national TV, T. So have a great day in the name of the Lord and may God bless you every step. Itching and burning, burning and itching. Burning and itching, itching and burning. Stanky and fishy, fishy and stanky. Stanky and fishy. What's that? STDs.